Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check, check, check it. It's Unique House. It's your boy ECO, and I'm with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not, not even a day of all gone. Well, y'all don't forget. Like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. We're on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, you name it. We're on it. But we're, the most important thing is our new Patreon channel. Go patreon.com and look up Boss Talk Podcast 101 and go ahead and subscribe. It only costs about, well, I want to say about four ninety nine, I think, a month or something like that. It ain't even that much. Y'all got that. Y'all can find that to support great content. Man, I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. He here. Yes, he don't need no introduction. <laughs> ODM Slim is in the building. This guy right here, man, been ripping through the internet. Yes, I am. We in Los Angeles, California. Yes, sir. And my boy done pulled up. And it's on now. Now we can start Boss Talk 101. <laughs> L.A., baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, thank you for coming on the show, my guy. You, man. You already know. I appreciate it, man. Man. So, man, just let, let's go down through there, man. You, I'm going to let you get in because I know how you do. So, born and raised in California. Yes, Los what Angeles. What part? Los Angeles. Los South Angeles. Yep. South Side? South Central. Yep. South Central. Okay. Yep. What was it like? Okay, first of all, raised with your mom and dad? Um, Raised with my mom household, but my father was there. You know, He wasn't like... He wasn't like he, part. He, was at a, he, he had his, another household. It was like I was raised with both of them, but separate houses, not together. Okay, did that affect you growing up? Did you feel like, man, why my dad can't be over here with me? Um, somewhat, but at the same time, it's like, you know, we're used to it being a black, a black household in LA. You see that? Some people but had not that. every black household had that. And where I'm from? Yeah. Shit. Every single one? About 90%. But you did see a, a black family that actually had a mom and dad in the right. household. Right, well, um, yeah, most time they like my Belizean partners and all that, different, <laughs> but not really my, like, you know, little black ones, they usually just like, you know, mm -hmm. daddy probably gone. Oh, okay. Nine times out of 10. So, siblings? Yeah. yeah How got, many are? I got, uh, on my mom's side, I got four brothers, um, three, my, four of us, three brothers and um, one sister, my mom's, and my dad's side, it's about, 13 of us. You know mm. what I'm saying? Daddy was a rolling stone. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Something like that. You know? <laughs> I'm going to ask you some very serious questions. Okay. And on Mr. Society, say, I want some very serious answers. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Mr. Society. The old boy say, You say you dropped a bottle of beer? <laughs> yeah, I think it was 10 15. Yeah, I think yeah. it was 10. Say 11 15. Oh. Well, you know, you know what? what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, DLC. Yeah, right, hey, listen, right. Slim, man. So, Man, uh, you you know Crib Mac. You that's right. your boy. It's my boy. Like like I was watching the internet from Texas, and I see right. the DP thing happen. Right. And and I'm like, what the hell is going on, man? Like and 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 it didn't seem real at first until I seen him get on the you know on the uh, right. on 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 the internet after that, bro. Like, was you around that day? Do you know what happened? Um, I was around. I was well, not that time it happened. Um, I probably probably like an hour before it happened. I pulled up, you know said, we chopped it up to people that was gonna be there. I was, we, it was supposed to be a meeting. That's all, it was supposed to be a meeting first. You know what I'm saying? Well, he never got the message. So it was just, in his head, I'm getting DP. So, you know what I'm saying? I'ma just, I mean, I ain't to wait till 80 people get there to get DP. I'd rather get, get my shit out the way with four or five people there so I, it could be, go my way, if anything, you know what I'm saying? So that was his mindset. I'ma just get out the way. And in actuality, it was like, bro, we didn't even, we didn't even have it. You know, we had to post out a meeting to, to rule out a DP or not. You know what I'm saying? You gonna get DP or not? Cause the shit that he couldn't DP for, bro, it's homies from different, was from different hoods, bro. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's, it's, it was like not, that, the shit that they talk about is not, not unheard of. You know what I'm saying? We heard about that shit a gang of times. It's a gang of different people that were different hoods before they was from the hood, before they, we, they was from the hood, before they was from, you know what I'm saying? Before they was from somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? So that's not like it's unheard of. You know what I'm saying? So. But it was more that he was just he was just anxious. He was trying to get it out the way. Did you was you you wasn't there? I wasn't there when it, the fight happened. No, it wasn't there. Nobody you left. Was, it was it was like when the fight happened. It was only a couple people there because he tried to get there before everybody get there. So get there. so it's like I got there and it was the, the people that he was getting to it with. So this shit happened, and then by the time everybody got there, it was like, bro, what happened? We we never called this. Mm -hmm. So it was like by that time he already was going home. He didn't did videos and did all this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was like. He didn't call it DP on himself, damn near. 
So what what neighborhood are you from? I'm from okay. neighborhood Crip 57. Well, 5557. We're from all the 50s. So it, it, they all explain what 5557 five, five, is. What is you talking about? Oh, I'm an old lame. Oh, my bad, man. Texas Listen, country. Texas, nigga, Texas. I don't know what's up, uh, man. We're from the 50s. You know what I'm saying? It's the bigger, the, the, the bigger, the, the big organization, is, organization itself is neighborhood Crip. It would go from the, from the 40s to the 100s. So 40s, 46, 48, 5, 5, 5, 7, 5, 8, 6, 0, 6, 7, 1, 11, 9, 0, 1, 11, 11, 11, 11, 5. That's all west side in hoods. Like, that's our blocks. But like, I'm from 5, 7. Like, we from the 50s. Me and Mac, Mac from 5, 5, I'm from 5, 7. We from the 50s. We from all the 50s. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's like, we from a big organization. We got smaller sections in the organization. You know what I'm saying? Have you talked to Crib Mac since he's been locked up? We want yeah. the Crib Mac yeah. update yeah. right now. I talked to him about three months ago. Two months ago, about two months ago, because right. you know me and Lupe, we he put him on the phone. What's right. up with that nigga, yeah, man? Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And he go, man, what's up, <laughs> e man? You know. So like, 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 what's he the conversation the like? Too. I sent him the numbers and the shit too. What, what's the conversation like? Um, right now he he, he got um coronavirus, so he locked mm. down. There's no conversation right now. Wow. But about two weeks ago, the conversation was more likely um coming home, grinding. What I got up next? You know what I'm saying? What I'm, what you think is best for me? All that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? You think I should try to sign a deal? You think I should just stay like this? How I should do what I should do? You know what I'm saying? But um, that's what typical conversation is. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But um, we was told that. Well, his mom was told me this couple of like a week ago that the judge was when he on his release, he supposed to get the tattoo removed off his forehead. Whoa! Yeah. So uh, what? Why is he removing the tattoo? That's what the, that is, look. I'm just. I, I'm not saying he's removing it. They're gonna get that right. Because it ain't, it's a, if it's a court order, it only means the court is ordering it. It doesn't mean he got to abide by the court rules. But if court ordering it, I thought you had to. You, 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 you can. I can say no, and I just want to go back to jail. I say I'm, I'm, I'm not abiding by the court order. And you can violate me, you can do what you want to do to me. I'm not taking it off. And you're going to go back to jail and stay in there indefinitely? Not indefinitely, not indefinitely. Because it's only so long they can keep him in jail. It's like, you understand, he got a controlling case. So it's like whatever controlling case holds or uh, being on parole or whatever that holds because even though you're on parole or whatever, when you violate, you still your parole should continue. you still just you're in the jail. You're not on the streets at doing your parole time. So as he keep going violated, his parole going to cancel. But well, why did they say that he had to take that tattoo off? I don't know. there's no law to say that because that's free speech so you can do whatever you um, want to your body. Well, and out here it's not like it's not Unseen. We all, we, it's, it, it's other people that it happened to before. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, you tell them that you had to take that off. Yeah. Court order. Yeah. Yeah. Like certain tattoos, like when you got like stuff on your face and stuff, they it's, it's likely like, yeah, you take it off. They don't, they don't be going for it a lot of times. Mm. But some judges don't even care. Some don't, you know what I'm saying? I just seen a lot of times a juvenile, though, a lot of juveniles, people do it, try to catch you before you get an adult so they can take the stuff off your face. But a lot of people, um, a lot of people did that before. Like, I just seen some, some essays I'd have been with. They made them take certain, because it's disrespectful stuff, like stuff that's just like gang, super gang stuff. They take it off. Mm. Wow. Um, so, you out here, it's a different world out here. This internet world is different. Right. Um, Whack 100 be on that back page. That's your favorite guy right there. <laughs> 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 that was a good one. He, so what, good. he got a comedian <laughs> career. <laughs> so what, what? What's what's up with you and the, with you and Wag? Um, me and Wag don't have no relationship, bro. It's <laughs> it's like this, simple and plain. Nip is my boy. I didn't been in situations with my boy. We didn't slept in abandoned houses. We didn't. You know what I'm saying? We didn't. I really got a relationship with him, bro. So once you disrespect with, who? with Nip, Nipsey. Yep. I met Nip a, a few times. Right. So if we have it's like if I fuck with you, my boy, a nigga can't disrespect my boy and think I'm gonna be just oh we cool, kumbaya. Yeah. Niggas fuck you. Wow. Straight up. That's my dad, homie, and I'm I'm, I'm rifling regardless. And I, I get it. So that's what it is with me and him. We just, we just standing right there. If he he crossed me, saying thing to me, it's gonna go from there. But it's it's from distance. It's always been fuck you. You, you, are, you, you draw the line already. You said even when we got into it over the C Max situation, I, I let that pass. Once he said something about Nip, it, it was no coming back. Wow. So he, the C-Mac thing, I remember when that was going on. Right. I let that go because, you know what I'm saying, at the same time, you said it's misunderstanding or whatever. You are, he even apologized. He said, you know what I'm saying, like, oh, yeah, it's my fault for this and that, and I shouldn't have did that. All right, cool. That's all I was getting at. Simple and plain that. It was messed up in your, on your behalf to release this information before you even got to a county jail. So if somebody wanted to kill my homie or hurt my homie bad, they had this information. 
they had they had a way to pull him into their dorm without him even knowing. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was really mad the first time. And then once that nip shit, I just, you know, it just, I don't even attack him. I don't go like, oh, let me go find whack and no, nah, he got me blocked and all that type of stuff. So I just leave it like that. Wow, <laughs> like that. man, you you re, you out here, you out here getting blocked. You, <laughs> niggas is not want to see none of the, no, nah, we ain't no, seeing Slim. It, it, it Slim need to go the other way, man. You know, it's terrorizing. No, I ain't terrorizing. <laughs> it, 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 so how that. hard is it like maneuvering? Like I, I'm being not from out here, just going from neighborhood to neighborhood. How you moving out here? How how serious is that for you? Because you a person that you've embedded, you've been engraved into this. Right. Me, I'm an outside looking in type guy. So how is it for you when you move it, man, with all the stuff? I mean, you, you got all these tattoos. Yeah. They represent some. Hmm. How do you move? I, now it's like, I can't, I move strategic because that's the way I was taught as a kid, all that. So I move like that. But I be dealing with so many different people now. It's like, I got, Bloods and other nigga power rules and food. Nigga, my worst enemies, supposed to be my enemies, I'm sitting on stages with and going to all this stuff with. So um, I just match energy. So yeah, we're playing. yeah. Like, so if I see you and you, you give me that, that vibe where I'm clutching, I'm a clutch. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I'm watching you. Yeah, you better. Then as you give me that vibe, like, you know what I'm saying? It's love. I, I just match energy, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's it. That's all. You know and I think that's all we can ask. Right. I mean, you do you do any regrets? I mean, coming up the way you came up, going through what you've been through. Um, give me some trying times. I, I'm saying I'm a survivor, bro. Like like I said, like, like you know, I've been shot in the head all you time. Got shot. Stuff. When did you get shot? I was a kid. I got shot. Most, I got shot multiple times. My arms all metal. I you got, got shot in your arm. Yeah, my shot, my head. Like my what legs. did you when you got <laughs> shot in your arm? What was that about? Oh, I was um, I was shot in the arm. I was on Crenshaw and Slauson. Um. What happened was, well, at first I was in the hood. I was in my hood, fuck with my homegirls, we chilling, you know what I'm saying? This when, when pills and shit was cracking, you know what I'm saying? You take a piece of a pill, this is like 05, 06. You take a piece of a pill, and again, it's like you you cracking, you know what I'm saying? So I popped up, my first time popping pills with her, you know what I'm saying? We popping X, popped the pill, we up, I'm up all night with her. Um, we end up going to the gas station, or we went going to, to the, um, it's a, it's a donut shop on Crenshaw Slauson, we're on Victoria. So that's, it stayed up open all, most of the night, you know what I'm saying? So we like, fuck, I'm gonna get some cigarettes. My first, it's my, it's not smoking cigarettes, it's my, my quit cigarettes. The day I quit cigarettes too and all that. <laughs> so uh, we went up, to, we was going driving, as we get to Crenshaw, it's lost in us, I'm watching, it's a car right next to us, boom. He's sitting up there, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm looking at them, it's like a little, it's like a, kind of like a van, it's like a little, it's a crossover type of, you know what I'm saying, car, like a, a Pathfinder or something like that. So he, he looking in, looking out, you feel me? My shit allowed, everybody know who my car is, you know what I'm saying, cause they know who I am. So I'm looking, I'm like, I'm like looking, trying to like fake it off, like, you know, just shim it. So um, he like looked over there again, they, they throw up gang signs. So, you know, I'm the hunger, like, man, he banging, he banging. I'm like, I'm like, just like, I let it go. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just don't even trip, don't even trip. So it's like, man, fuck that. So it's two people sitting right here, like on, on the street. So as we drive off, I'm noticing like they they watching the car. So I'm like, let me just go ahead. It's Louisiana chicken right there. So I'm gonna just tuck in the Louisiana chicken. I tucked when I tuck in there. Like at the time, I didn't know what's going on. But we, after the shit was going, we had little cases and shit going on. After we found out what's going on, we seen everything from like you know, since fighting the case. And they parked. They parked on the side. They jumped out the car. And the people walking this way, they they with them. They walked up. They all get cracking on me. So this is right across the street from where Nipsey put right, it. Right, right, right. So basically, right across the street from where Nipsey was so I got shot down, at, you got, got shot, shot in right the there. Lot, yeah, in the parking lot. We're, this is your neighborhood. Um, that's I, I'm, I'm from neighborhood, so all that's my that? neighborhood. How far is like that? How far is that? I'm from the fifty, so my my hood is like um, six O's is only like go down Slauson. My shit on start Slauson and Crenshaw. I'm Slauson and Normandy, Slauson and Western. You know what I'm saying? So it's like about. Five main streets, one, two, wow. like that, like four or five of them. Really? That's it. So you go to Crenshaw, you, Van Ness, Western. Yeah, that's only three, really. I've been on this internet and I be seeing crazy stuff like with Cowboy, all kind of crazy right, stuff. Right. Why they be giving him tough times about different things that went on that day? Right. Like, like, what happened that day that you can remember? I don't know. I was in. I guess, like no, I'm I said, talking about in your recollection, far as what you were doing that day when it comes. I was in jail. What? I was in jail when that shit happened. Man. I was in jail, but it's like- Man, what's going on, baby? <laughs> I was in jail, man, I'd be fucking up, man. Was you in the county or was county you in prison? Okay, county jail, county just a little, little yeah, something, something, yeah, wasn't yeah, that major? Look. Yeah, so I'm in the county jail, and one of my homies, uh, um, one of my boys, you know what I'm saying, St. National, 40s, he like, he, he got the phone, like, they just killed Nip, this and that. I'm like, what? 
He like, yeah, they just killed Nip. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And just the whole that whole little that whole day just I don't know. It, it didn't feel. Man, it didn't feel right, did yeah, it? It just feel crazy. It still feel crazy. Man, ODM Slim, man, like like you been on No Jumper, you be on all these shows, man. Like, how did you end up? What what made you jump out and start? You know, just telling your story or talking about different things that's going on. Like you you ain't always been doing this. No. Nah, um. What happened was when I was um. We was getting the, the Crip Mac whole, you know what I'm saying, Spectrum going, we was doing the whole Crip Mac thing, and I, I was just trying to feed him to like the white, you know what I'm saying, I was in the right way. And a lot of times he was not, he was not doing what I say do. So he was like, nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, <laughs> so I'm telling him to say stuff, and then even if he do it, it's like only 60% of the stuff get out, you know what I'm saying? Cause he would, cause he, one of the words, I say something, and one of the words catch him, and then he starts talking about big booties and all type of stuff, so <laughs> it never get out right. So I'm like, man, I don't know how that do, you know what I'm saying? So one day we arguing, we arguing and stuff. He like, I'm telling like, man, you just gotta t do the shit I say. I'm telling you, you can be big, but you gotta follow the guidelines, bro. I'm telling you, do this. So he like, man, you gotta do this shit, cause that's you. I'm gonna do the shit the way I'm gonna do the shit. You do the shit, you can do the I shit. I can believe it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It so makes like, man, sense. Yeah, we go, we go figure it out then. One day I'm just chilling with my boy, then say Nash, my boy said he like, man, look, man, you might as well just come out here with me, you know what I'm saying, and and and, and do this first interview. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, man, Rack Shack, you feel me? And, and, and was in um, Sacramento. Yeah. Like, man, come fire here with me this night. We flew out there and it was a rap from day where. You enjoyed it? It was over with, you know what I'm saying? I, man, you know, man, I, I, I value people. I love right. people, bro. Like, when I look at you, man, your, your life is a testimony. Want it? You, you to be here them being shot in the head, yeah. shot in the arm. God got purpose for your life, bro. Want it? So, I mean, you know, I laugh and I cut up, but I love hard, you know what I'm saying? Because I've been through a lot too. Right. So the, for us to still be here, we really winning because a lot of our partners ain't here no more. 100. So man, I just be enjoying the conversation. That's what I do. Boss talk a real uh, a, a situation. Me and my wife been married for 20 years. Sure. You know, and, like and we here to try to you know show people that you can make it through. You know what I'm saying? That's right. And so to be able to sit down with you today is a blessing, bro. You appreciate know what I'm bro. saying? And I appreciate you for your time. Like that's real. I gotta yeah. say that before we go any. Further. Yeah, I'm like, you, let bro. me yeah, go yeah. shut that down right now because people need to know that real black people out here connecting like we doing right, right now. This is big, bro. Like you might need me or in Texas or right, something. You fly in, I'm there. I don't care where you from, what right. street, none of that. I don't know the life, right. but because I met you right. and that energy you was talking about earlier, your energy, right, bro. I, like I know you good people. You know right. what I'm saying? I get that. You a lot. feel me, right? Like, like that. I just start smiling when I see you because you just start smiling. <laughs> that is you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So that's dope, you know what I'm saying? But right. I know already you get busy. Like I get busy but back in the day. Right. You know, I'm trying you know to be better. So trying to be a better person, you know. But I understand you. I hear you got to do what you got to do to survive. Oh, yeah. I'd rather come back and see you alive and, and, and you're locked up. But I want you alive. You know right. what I'm saying? I'm being real. I'm going to survive, man. I got, a, I got a daughter I got to go home to every what? night. What? All these daughter, man? No, I, got, I, got, I got kids. Don't I got kids. You I got, got seven kids. Ten? I got seven. Oh, damn. Oh, not seven. trying to be like your daddy? <laughs> no, no, no. Listen, I, I wasn't trying to be like my daddy, but it's like, when you not tell me like your daddy, but you 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 was raised a certain way, so it's like you don't want to be like, hey, you gotta give me ten, you gotta give me six, you gotta give me five, because a lot of people are like, oh, this nigga, yeah. nigga die from ten, this yeah. little thing down, like no. Nah. <laughs> so it just, I just, it happened, and I never told them no. They they wanted, oh yeah, I'm not having an abortion, I'm not doing this and that. All right, fuck it, fuck it, do what you wanna do. You know what I'm saying? It's like even though I was I was with them, it's like fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Just do your thing. It's your child. Right. And it's like. And you take care of all of them. Man, it's a lot. And it's, a, it's a heavy. You heavy done? On, <sighs> God willing, God won't be done. He gonna just, I'm done. But <laughs> if, he, if he just puts somebody, oh yeah, she got a baby and I can't do nothing. So I'm, with, I'm with a female right now that I'm with. I've been with it for like the last year that I've been really rocking with. You know what I'm saying? We don't got a kid together. You know what I'm saying? I got my kids. She got her kids. And we just rocking. You know what I'm saying? But she, she, she a good person, you know? That's um, good. She very family orientated. She's still, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I just don't know. You know what I'm saying? After that, we gonna figure out one day if that's the case. But right now we good. She got a two year old. I got a one year old right now. So we, that's, that's rocking. And then I got a full custody of one of my daughters. So, you know, it just. Man, that's good. ADM, AD and ODM Slim address Ace Boy. Oh yeah, What's no, up? That, no, that, no, listen. That, that, that nine days ago, what is you doing? <laughs> No, that's what. <laughs> what the hell going on? No, look, <laughs> look. All right, we had. Man, you, you it, was, it, was, it was a lot of misunderstanding going on. A lot of misunderstanding going on. You know what I'm saying? I'm just feel like that. We're gonna just leave that there. It was a lot of misunderstanding going on. 
I was, I'm a very passionate person. You know what I'm saying? I'm very passionate. When I feel that was, I feel somebody was getting bullied or something like that was going on, that I'll be sometimes sticking my head out sometimes where it don't need to be. You know, I'm like, oh my God, why? And I don't need to sometimes. Well, I did it again. I did it this time. I jumped off the, the roof. I went crazy on a couple of people. We, we, we going back and forth on some internet, just regular, like, not even like beefing, really, you know what I'm saying? Because all these people right now, we cool. We cool at the, today. Okay. But at, at the time, we just, it, we was throwing words at each other. What, what is this? What is this? Hey, what is this? What is this? What is this then? You know what I'm saying? We just popping at each other. And um, one of the situations where I know AD. Man, AD, cool. Okay. He got a partner. Pun is his partner. So I didn't know when they was like, um, the situation happened with Kelpie. They asked me about Pun. They was like, yeah, what's up with you and Pun? This and that, whoop, whoop. Pun said this is and that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, well, I don't know Pun. I only know what Pun from. And they took that part. Like, I don't know what Pun from. Like, I was taking it and I was like, like, fuck him or he don't know where he from. Yeah, or, they playing like, these games. They, they, they switched it up like that. So when it got to Pun, it was like, oh, all right. Well, then tell a nigga Slim to get at me, did. You know what I'm saying? If he put it on my front. Yeah, wow. Like no, <laughs> y'all boys different, man. <laughs> they were like that for just like two seconds, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it was like it was probably like a, it was like three days or but four days. But that could go real bad, man. It could. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, we we grown ass men, it's like we real. So we know and we really from the streets, all of us. So we understand like, all right, if I fuck with you, if it's up, it's up. It don't matter. It's that street shit. It's up, it's up. But if I fuck you, you connect to her, and you connect to him, you connect to them, I can tap in. Look, man, what's up with this nigga? What's up? We, we can squabble up, or we gonna get this out the way or what? You know what I'm saying? So we were so close to home, it was like I knew it was gonna go bad. You know what I'm saying? Because like we all connected. AD, the T Rail, all of them was all connected. We all we all know each other like that. You know what I'm saying? That's they friends, but I fuck with them. So you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, that's hard. But so China, how you and China Mac? Y'all, how did y'all establish a relationship? Um, C Mac. Try to make was one of the first person to bring C Mac out on the um, you know what I'm saying we was doing our things we grinding or whatever and he reached out he wanted to bring C Mac out for the show and all this other stuff so we uh we brought C Mac out for the show um, we did the show we had a great show and from there which is cool then um, C Mac got into it with his um, cameraman or something got to his cameraman then he called me he said man what's up man this man C Mac he tripping he want to fight my cameraman <laughs> so. So, you know what I'm saying, we defused that situation. And uh, it just been locked in. It's like, when I, he came out here from New York. He said, man, I'm gonna be out here from New York. You know what I'm saying, it's not. And he's like, we, like, what you wanna do? You know what I'm saying, we can do some content. I thought it was like, like a Mac Eats or something. You know what I'm saying, he like, um, we can do something like that. But he like, boom, then, and like, probably like, he like, 10 minutes in the conversation, he's like, but I think we need something bigger. Like, you know what I'm saying, your energy, my energy. We need something bigger, you know what I'm saying, something that's gonna, Stay with you, stay with me, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna be good, like something we can build together. So that's what it came, you know what I'm saying? We just started grinding. That's hard, man. So yeah, how do you feel like things been going for you since you've been in this world, man? Like, oh, it's a great. different world, it's man. It's been great, man, it's been great, you know what I'm saying? Cause I feel, cause my energy ain't like that. I ain't got that energy of fuck you, fuck your dad. I don't got that energy, you know what I'm saying? I got that you a black man, you a black woman, you my queen and king. How y'all doing, you know what I'm saying? We it's indigenous, hard. that's, you know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. where you from? What part of the earth you from, you feel me? Let's get it. That's my, my, my shit. You got seven kids, bro. You got to be here for them kids, bro. For you sure, know? for sure. And that, that's the whole game, like I said, man. I've sure. I was I, I, I been through a lot. I just right. tell you like that. So, man, come on, man. You you know, you got to, you you can, you got something special going because people are seeing you everywhere. Right. People know you everywhere. They're seeing you. How crazy is that? People be like, oh, I see him on right. the internet, right? I, the, the, craziest, the craziest things, the, 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 like my enemies that I used to deal with when I was younger, how they be like, accepted to it, like, oh, nigga, you look, this, this is a better look for you, you know what I'm saying? That's like, hard. Hey, if you know, I, you, I, you don't know who I am, I ain't gonna tell you who I am, but nigga, we was going at it with each other, nigga, but it's good to see you, like, I'm like, damn, wow. like, I'm like, whatever, whoever you is, bro, like, good looking. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. I mean, I, cause you know, this can change right. the narrative. You right, can, right, right, you right. You can help a lot of people, man. There's right. a lot of people, like, I look part now, I keep talking about Kenny B, I'm so proud of him in, 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 in uh, Texas because he got all perks or whatever, and right. you know, and other kids are getting off and, right. and different things that he, he a known guy, so people look up to him. Same way these guys are looking at you, seeing you and seeing you on all these shows, right. shows that they wish they could get on, and you out here doing your thing. So you know, I'm gonna take my opportunity with you to be real and be like, hey man, you doing something special? Right. A lot of people seeing you, taking and twisted narrative. Help your seven kids, help everybody's kids, right? right? That's what that's it's about, big, bro. right? That's what it's about, bro. I ain't gonna lie. When I was in prison. 
it's like I, it, I, I knew, I knew it was gonna, was gonna do nothing. Like, as in, I can change the people around me, like my age, older than me. We couldn't change the mindset. We've been stuck in this mindset, so I had to figure out, like, oh, we can go deal with the youth. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm gonna try to change, I got to start with my kids, start with them first, and then I can change other kids around them. And that's where it started at, and it's, it's been going from there. Wow, man. So, man, whenever, when I get ready to bring you to Texas, you gonna come, you gonna I'm jump coming. in flight? Yeah, I'm coming. I'm I'll be out there, I'll be out in Texas, Houston, um, March 15th. You are? Yeah. So you I'm gonna come to Dallas Yeah, I'm, co I'm coming. No, man. that's three and a half hours man, away. Man, listen, I'm coming, I'm coming to Houston, man, I gotta be there. We we're might in come Dallas. Up. We're in right, Dallas. But my, I, got, I got family in Dallas. But okay. even if you come to Houston or something, we could try to link it up. No, but I got family in Dallas too, though. For real? real? I gotta be in Texas for like, I think a week or two. Uh, if you so come, you're going to come on the yeah, show. I got you, bro. We Good love you, bro. You I'm glad you. I'm glad you, you connected know. with the real appreciate man. Appreciate you, bro. You already know. Same, man. man. And, and that's, what, that's what I'm saying. It's all about the energy, bro. Right. And right. like I said, it, it ain't by chance. We, we met. Right. My girl Lupe brought us together. Yeah, she's like, man, it's I'm going like, down. She's like, you going to call me? I'm like, nah, man, I ain't going nowhere. I ain't doing none of that shit. Then she's like, no, I'm telling you, man, listen. I'm like, damn, I watched him. I watched him. He said, turn with the, the black thing, right? It's like, yeah. I'm like, he was, he was Texas, right? Texas? He's like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, all right, cool. I watched him. Thank I you so him. much, man. Like, we we appreciate oh, so you are watching us before she even mentioned right. it. Right. Well, I see when, certain names. It's like you know the names. So it's like when she said it, I'm like, no, nah, I'm not going. But then she said the name. I'm like, damn, I think. I'm like, hold on. Let me see that again. Cause That's the dude with the gray yeah, right there. Yeah, but then she showed me. I remember when before she came the first time. When I first started watching, I was watching y'all from a video that y'all did already. I think yeah. it's like Houston or something. Yeah, or we do Texas, everybody. That y'all was y'all yeah, y'all doing some long, and um, I, I got like a little glimpse of the video. I think I re react to it or something. I be doing vlogging yeah, and stuff, yeah. so I react to it. And then she's like, "Oh yeah, no, I mean, I, I know everybody." <laughs> <laughs> no, no, she love we yeah, love we Lupe, in, man. I called sure. her for the last six months, man. Ever <laughs> since Cam, Cam Capone really want to see him, too. man. So Cam too. I talk to him a lot too, right. and Cam it's just good. like he always got some jewels to drop, man. Right. And, and just to be able to have that 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 link, man, is dope. So right, now right. I got to link to you. I got to get your number. I'm got keeping you. up with you, man. Got you, bro. Check it, man. Hey, man. It's been another great segment of Boss yes, Talk One Hundred and One, where the bosses talk. And we yeah.